In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Thursday, August 24th, 2023. And with this problem, we have a logarithm that we need to evaluate. We have log base 8 of 1 over 32. And questions like these are typically seen in Algebra 2 classes, though you might see these in a pre-calculus class as well. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you've attempted the problem, let's start working through this. And with logarithms, you could use a calculator to evaluate this. Some calculators will allow you to plug in custom bases, but many calculators won't. So that might not be a viable option. You could use the change of base rule, if you remember that, to evaluate this logarithm. But if we want to evaluate this without a calculator, what we can do is set this equal to some variable. Let's say that this is equal to x. And let me just quickly rewrite this. We have log base 8 of 1 over 32. And this is equal to x. Now, once we define this as variable, we can rewrite this in its exponential form. And remember that if we have a logarithm, log base a of b, and this is equal to c, we can rewrite this in its exponential form, where the exponential form would have the same base as the logarithm, base a. And it's important to remember that logarithms are equal to exponents. Logarithms are exponents. So if the logarithm is equal to c, then c is the exponent in our exponential equation. And the input of the logarithm is always what the exponential equation is equal to. So we can convert back and forth between these. And sometimes it's more helpful to rewrite as this exponential form here. So let's rewrite this. The exponential form would have the same base, base 8. And the exponent is what the logarithm is equal to. So it will be 8 to the x power. And the input of the logarithm is what the exponential equation is equal to. Now, what we can notice from here is that 8 and 32 are both powers of the same number. Namely, they are both powers of 2. And if they weren't powers of the same number, this technique will not work. We would have to use a different approach. And frankly, we would probably just need to use a calculator and use the change of base rule. But since they are powers of the same number, we can rewrite these using exponent properties. We know that 2 to the third is equal to 8, and 2 to the fifth is equal to 32. So let's plug in what we know. We have 8 to the x, or 2 to the third raised to the x power is equal to 1 over 2 to the fifth. And let me just make a bit more room here so we can continue this. And we know that when we have an exponent to an exponent, we multiply. So this becomes 2 to the 3x power. And over here, we are dividing by 2 five times. We can rewrite this with a negative exponent as 2 to the minus 5 power. And now they have the same base, so we can just equate the exponents. Since if we have, let's say, d to the e power, and this is equal to d to the f power, then for this to be true, e and f must be equal. So let's set 3x equal to negative 5 and divide by 3. We get that x is minus 5 thirds. So this right here should be our final answer. Though, like I mentioned, we can take an alternate approach and we can use this to check our work, we can use the change of base formula. And remember that the change of base formula just says that if we have log base a of b, we can rewrite this using any base that we want. Let's say as log base c of b divided by log base c of a, where we have some new base, this base c, which can be whatever we want, and the original input is now the input in the numerator. And the original base is now the input in the denominator. So two of the most common bases that you'll see 
would be log base e of some quantity, let's just say y, and we usually write this as the natural log, where e is that special number, this is not some variable, this is actually a number, e is the number 2.718 and so on, it is irrational, it is the exponential constant, but the natural log is usually seen on a calculator. We write ln for natural log, and we can also use the common log, which is log base 10 of our variable y, and with the common log, we usually just omit the base. We just write log of y. So these two buttons typically show up on calculators. So we can rewrite this using the change of base rule. We can say that we have log base 8 of 1 over 32. And let's just use the common log. We'll put the original input in the numerator. And we're using the common log, so we don't write that it's base 10. But we can assume that we have log base 10. So we have log of 1 over 32 divided by log of 8. And when you put this into the calculator, you will get the exact same answer. We still get this minus 5 over 3. So this is a great way to check our work, but ultimately solving this by hand is the technique that you want to learn.